Iowa Elementary. Do you know who loves flowers as much as I do? If you guessed butterflies, you would be right. Let's read a nonfiction book to find out why butterflies love flowers. Let's read Butterflies by Fran Howard. Butterflies are insects with thin bodies and large wings. Butterflies have four colorful wings. Most butterflies are about the size of a child's fist. Butterflies have two antennas. Butterflies use their antennas to feel and smell. Butterflies have thin legs. Butterflies taste with their feet. Butterflies drink nectar from flowers. Butterflies have long mouths that work like straws. Butterflies fly from flower to flower. Pollen from the flower sometimes sticks to their legs. The pollen falls off when butterflies land on new flowers. And the pollen helps new flowers grow. More butterflies bring more flowers. Don't clutter away just yet. Hadley would like to share some more there about butterflies. butterflies. They were tiny little caterpillars, and now they are butterflies. How did they turn into butterflies? What did the caterpillars do? Um, they, they, um, they, they ate and ate, and they got really, really fat. Then what did they do? down like a J and while they're making their chrysalis. How long were they in their chrysalis? For about a week. About a week? When they came out of their chrysalis, could they fly? They couldn't fly yet because their wings were still a little bit wet and they had red stuff that looks like blood, but is not blood. So what did you do with them? We sat them in the sun, and we gave them flowers to drink the nectar out of. Do you know how they drink the nectar? They have a piece that is a, like a straw, and it's called a biscuit. Probiscus? Probiscus. Mm -hmm. And they drink the nectar out of the flowers. So what are you going to do with your butterflies? We're going to let them out of the cage. The cage. How many are there? Five. Did they all emerge at the same time? No. Today it's nice and sunny out and it's warm enough so we're going to go ahead and let them go. Hadley's going to help me. I want to see if I can show you any of them. Um, you can see them in there but it's hard to see through the net. They've been flying around like crazy. There's one up at the top. It's ready to go. Okay, so Hadley's going to unzip the top of the net. Hold on to the other side. No, just hold it and unzip it. All the way around. Okay. Open up the top. Sometimes it takes them a little bit to figure out that they can get out. See, they don't want to go. There, there's one. Okay, Hadley, why don't you um, stick your hand in the side zipper? Yeah. Kind of. It, you can touch them just gently. Like from underneath, kind of like pop them up like, hey guys, go. Well, they don't want to leave.
we had to wait for a nice day so they could find some flowers to get some nectar from and we don't want it to be too cold for them on their first day out adventuring in the world. Let's see if we can squish this down a little or maybe let's tip it. Oops. See if we can get them going that way. Sorry, it's not a very good video. There we go. Here goes one. Come on. Woo, there he goes. There's number three is on his way. There's three. Two more. There's number four. Number five is on the bottom. He's flat on the bottom. There you go. <laughs> he doesn't want to leave. They've had it nice and easy for a while. Number five. Just tap on the side of the net where his feet are. There we go. Here he comes. Come around to this side. There we go. He's on his way. Oh. There they go. Thank you, Hadley, for sharing about butterflies with us. And now I would like to share a story with you. It's called Clara Caterpillar, written by Pamela Duncan Edwards, illustrated by Henry Cole. Clara Caterpillar. You'll notice that there are a lot of C words in this book. Let's see if you can hear them all. One day, a cream colored butterfly laid an egg on a cabbage leaf. Grow up to be courageous and contented, Clara, she called to her egg as the wind carried her away. Clara lay curled in the egg case for a considerable time. Eventually, a crowd of caterpillars clustered around her. She's incredibly late coming out, commented one. She's very cautious, said another. A curious caterpillar knocked on Clara's egg case. This is Cornelius, he said. Come on out. I'm comfortable in here, called Clara. Who cares if she comes out, scoffed a scowling caterpillar called Katisha. It's clear she'll only be a cabbage caterpillar. Cabbage caterpillars are so common. Don't be cruel, Katisha, Cornelia scolded. Cabbage caterpillars are cute. Did you say cabbage? cried Clara. Cabbage sounds scrumptious, so Clara cut a hole in her eggs case and clambered out. I'm a lucky caterpillar, she said. Cornelius, come and share this delectable cabbage. Clara and Cornelius climbed and crawled and cappered about. They had carefree caterpillar fun. They crammed themselves with cabbage, carrot, and cauliflower leaves. They grew into colossal caterpillars. Then one day, Cornelius called, Clara, come and make your chrysalis. Don't encourage her, mocked Katisha. She's only going to become a common cabbage butterfly. Why is Katisha being catty? Clara asked. Katisha is conceited, comforted Cornelius. She knows she'll become an attractive crimson colored butterfly. Then Clara, Cornelius and the other caterpillars caught on to the cabbage, carrot, and cauliflower plants with cottony threads. They crinkled and discarded their skins and cuddled down inside their chrysalises. I'm crushed in here. I hate being cooped up. I'm creased. I'm crumpled. My back tickles. I can't scratch. It's making me cranky. I'm cramped. I'm coiled like a corkscrew. I can't cope, complained Katisha. Cooey, cried Cornelius to Clara. Are you comfortable? Actually, I'm very cozy, Clara called back. Then one morning, the chrysalises began to crack and out climbed delicate creatures. Cool, cried Clara. You all look captivating. Cornelius, you're a terrific copper color. Why is that scruffy creature conversing with us? Complained a scowling crimson 
colored butterfly. Katisha, Clara said, you are spectacular. Of course, replied Katisha. And you, Clara, are so cream. I think cream is cute, declared Cornelius. Cute, Katisha sniggered. Don't be ridiculous, Cornelius. Then Katisha climbed toward the clouds on her scaly cobweb wings. And suddenly a crow called and scared everyone. Snack time, he exclaimed as he caught sight of the crimson colored Katisha. The butterflies panicked and frantically scattered in all directions. You can't escape, screeched the crow to Katisha. Katisha, I'm coming to the rescue, cried Clara. Clara, be careful, screamed Cornelius. Plucking up her courage, Clara flicked her wings at the crow. Catch me if you can, you scullywag, she taunted. Then Clara curved down and ducked into a camellia bush. The crow became confused and forgot about Katisha. He cocked his head and pecked in the petals, but Clara, the cream-colored butterfly, lay camouflaged behind a curtain of cream-colored camellias. That's curious, complained the crestfallen crow. I was confident I could capture a succulent snack. The coast is clear, Cornelia shouted. The crisis is over. Congratulations, Clara, complimented the other butterflies. Clara, you're so clever, cried the shocked Katisha. I could never camouflage myself like you. I'm too colorful. I was crazy to scoff at your cream color. It's incredible. And cute too, declared Cornelius. Cornelius clapped his wings. Listen carefully, he commanded. That crow is a scoundrel. Let's cling close to Clara. Clara can stop him from catching us. Clara is so capable and courageous. Clara is so lucky to be cream colored said Katisha. And I'm completely contented butterfly, said Clara.